Ah, there is a ship still capable of flight. An Astero, no less. A fine ship indeed. I have highlighted the navigation section of your display. Use it to approach the ship. Our shields took significant damage in the attack. The armor is also in need of repair. I believe the appropriate idiom for this situation is, we're screwed. Fortunately, the cavalry has arrived. Ships bearing air transponders are approaching our location. Ferris, Commander of Air Security. All ships evacuating this cloning facility are advised to rendezvous at emergency coordinates. Several thousand civilians appear to have survived the attack. Let us make haste and join the fleet Commander Ferris is organizing. Your overview will display the ships in your vicinity. Captain, your vessel looks like it's seen better days. I'll repair you once you're in range. Commander Ferris, were you able to determine the identity of our attackers? Negative aura. Their transponders were cloaked and their hulls lacked any identifying information. I'd wager this was an act of corporate espionage turned violent. There are a lot of people in New Eden who want to get their hands on his technology, whatever the cost. Thanks to Commander Ferris's repairs, our ship is almost as good as new. At his command, we will proceed to the emergency coordinates. All ships enter warp formation. designated emergency evacuation zone. We'll be safe here while we regroup. A spot well chosen. This location's cosmic abnormalities will mask our warp signatures from detection. But our appreciation of New Eden's natural wonders will have to wait. Captain, I could use your help. My sensors are picking up a strange signal nearby, but my forces are stretched thin defending the civilian fleet.
initiating scan of unidentified signal. Captain, hostiles inbound. We have to defend those unarmed civilian transports. All ships equipped for combat form up around me. My sensors indicate that these are the same ships that attacked the cloning facility. Several frigates are breaking away from the pack. They're targeting those civilian ships. combat experience as a capsuleer. You're too far away, Captain. Thankfully, our ship is equipped with a module that will boost our speed. Activate the afterburner module highlighted on your display. My data... We're now within range. Lock your target.
break the battleship's lock on the civilian transport. Doing so means the battleship will be able to target only one thing. Us. There is no other way to save those civilians. They are not civilians like you. Their deaths will be final. Yours will be a learning experience. Our destruction is 99.99% certain. Welcome back to the world of the living, Captain. I hope your death was not too uncomfortable. Your neural data has been transferred to a fresh clone body. But before you stretch your new legs, someone very important would like to meet you. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Vesper Calatrix, Air's Vice President of Operations. Commander Ferris spoke highly of your courage under fire. You went out with quite fang. Since your ship was destroyed in a blaze of glory, Air would like to provide you with a new one. I will enable your station services panel so that you may board the ship provided to you by Air. Try not to blow this one up so quickly, but if you do, you can acquire a new Corvette at any station. Your next adventure will hopefully prove less explosive. We have a lead on who attacked the cloning facility, and we want you to follow up on them. Considering your recent experience, you're the perfect pilot for the job. I've sent you a module that will help you on the next leg of your journey. Captain, you can access objects currently stored at the station at which you are docked from your item hangar. Now. Let's take a look at the module Miss Calatrix has given. A mining laser upgrade. A curious choice, Miss Calatrix. How will a mining module help our investigation? One of our agents in the field has intercepted a strange signal at one of our mining sites, but we're having trouble locating its source. We want you to investigate the signal. But if we're being watched, and I suspect we are, we don't want anyone to know we're on to them. You'll look just like another member of the mining fleet. Duly noted, Miss Calatrix. Captain, you can fit the module to your ship by accessing the fitting window from the Neocom. Let's fit your new module in a free slot. Now, bring the module online. It appears you do not currently possess the skill necessary to use this module. Hardly surprising. You still have much to learn. Please direct your attention to the icon on the display that I have highlighted for you.
you can add the missing skill to your training queue here. Now, access the skill window from the Neocom. Skills are essential for all capsuleers in New Eden, as they serve as the primary measurement of one's growth. A more highly skilled pilot will be most formidable indeed. Training a new skill takes time, as the neural pathways of your brain... Now, all you have to do is confirm that you wish to use those skill points. The training required for your new module is complete. Your skill queue is now empty. I should point out that you can train skills while doing other things. It's a good strategy to always have something training. I guarantee other capsuleers will be doing just that. We wouldn't want you to fall behind your peers, would we? To that end, I've sent the air skill plan to your AI. Normally, you would have received it as part of your capsular training program starter package, but your training was violently disrupted, to say the least. Miss Calatrix's advice is sound. You should always have a skill in training. Let's start with this new one. And may it be the first of many. The more skills you acquire, the stronger you'll be. As you continue to grow as a capsuleer, you can adjust your skill acquisition to achieve your desired goals. Now, close the windows crowding your screen. It would be rather comical if you failed to see a thread hurtling right towards us. Because of the... Let us online your mining laser upgrade. Now that you have the necessary skill to use it. You can do this from the fitting window. Turn the module online. Well done, Captain. You can now close the fitting window. Looks like you're ready to roll, Captain. Our agent will rendezvous with you at the mining site. Keep your eyes open and watch your six. This is New Eden, after you never know what danger is lurking around the next Stargate. Miss Calatrix is right. Time is of the essence. I suspect something nefarious might be occurring at the air mining site. Undock from the station so we can begin our journey there. that could explain the mystery signal air discovered at the mining site. According to my calculations, the probability that the situation is unrelated to the attack on the cloning facility is exceptionally small. One in 37 million to be exact. Let us make haste and walk to the site immediately.
scale of Air's mining operation is rather impressive for such a young corporation. They must be remarkably well funded. It is little wonder that Miss Calatrix would suspect espionage. Further speculation will have to wait. We're being hailed by that orca. You must be the fresh meat Vesper told me to expect. Elias Pelton's a name, mining's a game. But you're not just here to mine, are you? We're here to assist in any way we can with locating the source of the unusual signal you've intercepted. Unusual's one way of putting it. Pain in my ass is another. The signal's bouncing around these asteroids like a fetto hopped up on a bad booster. Can't get a lock on its source with all these rocks in the way. Miss Calatrix has outfitted us with a mining laser upgrade. That should clear several of those rocks away. Good old Vesper, always ten steps ahead. Now, let's put that bad boy to use. Best way to blend in is by getting your hands dirty with the crew. Some miners fly solo, but a project this big isn't exactly a one-man show. Sometimes the only way to get shit done is with a fleet. I bet this is the first time you mined with a crew. No offense or anything, you've just got that shiny new pod smell on you. Follow my lead and you'll be mining like a pro in no time. Let's start with that asteroid over there. If your competence matches your confidence, we are in good hands indeed, Mr. Peltonen. Cat. Please, call me Elias. Mr. Peltonen makes me feel like an old man. My old man, specifically. Miserable son of a bitch. Just about spat in my face when I left his crusty old Caldari corp to make my own way. Sincerest apologies, Elias. Our first name basis shall commence immediately. Good. I like to keep things informal here. It keeps morale up. This crew's full of people like me, following the siren song of sweet, sweet independence. Doesn't hurt that the money's good, too. Captain, we're now within range of the asteroid. We should stop here. There's something spectacular about a fresh asteroid, isn't there? Play your cards right and that giant hunk of rock becomes a giant pile of riches. You can view your very own pile of rocks, as Elias puts it, in your cargo hold. It's actually all, not rocks. But I assume Elias is resorting to basic linguistic wordplay, a very human tendency. It might not look like much, but that's not just a pile of ore. It's a pile of possibilities. You can sell it, refine it, trade it. The choice is yours. Now, time... Harvesting resources is one of the best ways to earn money in New Eden. And if you're gonna make it as a capsuleer, the one thing you gotta know is that money is king. Hell, with enough isk, you'll be able to buy yourself a sweet ride like that venture over there. That's one down. And now, on to the next. Follow me, Captain, and stick close. This asteroid fe You better hustle or my guys will drain that asteroid dry before you get there. If you've got an afterburner, now's the time to use it. Just like that last asteroid. Once you've got your target in your sight... 
Looks like you're a natural at this. Keep it up, and Vesper will be offering you my job soon. Elias, are there any words of wisdom you find particularly valuable for new miners? Oh, man. Where to start? First off, you gotta know the difference between raw ore and refined minerals. What we're doing right now is mining ore in its raw state. For someone just learning the ropes, selling that ore is the quickest way to make isk. But you can also reprocess ore into minerals. Take Tritanium, for example. You can't find that stuff in the wild. You've gotta get your hands on some raw ore, like Feldspar, and then refine it into Tritanium. You can sell those minerals or use them to build your own ships or equipment. You can find refineries at most stations. Experienced miners get way more efficient yields from their ore. So that's something you can work towards. The asteroid is depleted. Another asteroid successfully depleted. We better close in on that rock then. The signal is exceptionally strong in this location. The signal appears to be emanating from the center of this... You can break this baby apart using... Just like that. We can whittle away at this asteroid without damaging whatever's broadcasting that signal. signal source appears to be that wrecked frigate. This particular model is... The fact that the wreck is isolated leads me to believe that the Dramiel was sent to this location to... Well, we're not gonna get any solid answers all the way over here. Let's move in. The signal is strongest in the vicinity of the Dramiel's cargo hold. I do love the feeling of striking gold. It appears to be a black box, a device designed to survive the destruction of the vessel carrying it. Such boxes can be used to record vital flight data, but also to store valuable items. 
That's nice and all, but can you open it? Negative, Elias. Captain, the box is protected by multiple layers of encryption. While it's theoretically possible to hack into such a container, you will need significantly more training in that skill before attempting such a feat. I don't think it's safe to crack it open here anyway. Where there's smoke, there's fire. One scout ship might mean they got friends lurking nearby. If we could trace that signal, so could someone else. Better get the box and whatever's in it back to Vesper. She'll know what to do. Elias is correct, Captain. The box may contain the answers we need to discover why those unidentified ships attacked the cloning facility. And why one was spying on this mining site.